this is topic number eight, talking about the Mandalorian. And this is coming from JoeBlow.com. The Mandarin stars tease a darker and better season three. And this does give me really happy, Larry, because mm-hmm. the Mandalorian has been holding it down. Yeah. It's great Star Wars content on Disney+. Plus. Season one was great. Season two was great. And now they're saying season three is going to be even better. The Mandalorian season three won't debut on Disney Plus until next year. But the cast is already driving fan expectations sky high. While speaking with Entertainment Tonight, Pedro Pascal, Carl Weathers, Katie Sackhoff, and Gio Carlo Esposito tease what, what fans have in store with the new season. Their uh, three is even better than the previous one, Pedro Pascal teased. It's safe to say that you're going to love it. Carl Weathers added that Mandalorian season three will feel fuller and have a lot more heft. So it's, mm. it's so dense with so much action, but also character. Giancarlo Esposito says that the new episodes will be larger than ever, and it's just an expansion in my in my ways of the last season. It's a mm. great season that has a, a great ideas, great seasons, and great tips for the future. Not to be left out, Katie Sackhoff had just a single word when asked to describe the vibe of the third season: dark. Wow, what do you think mm. about that, Larry? Let good. us know. It gets me excited. You said good. Uh, good. I'm glad they're going darker with some of this stuff, man. I know some of this is like I know that Disney has been so worried about sort of making some of their their real big, you know, some of their tentpole kit, you know, franchises too dark because they wanted to keep the family friendly, kid friendly, you know, super merchandise friendly, everything going on. But I think you have some of that. Like you have what's his name, Grogu over there, that's just super <laughs> kid friendly. There's a, a 250 million memes of them. Mm-hmm. All kinds of toys. So it's nice to have a good balance where you have him all super nice and everything, but then you get something darker a little bit more. I don't, it doesn't necessarily have to be more violent, but at least something more serious. Right on. Mm-hmm. I, I like that. I, I respect that. Um, especially with the – if you haven't – I don't want to spoil it, but, man, the way that uh, season two ended with The Mandalorian was amazing. Uh, I, I loved it. We, we finally got what we wanted in Star Wars. Uh, but it goes on to say the third season of The Mandalorian is off, obviously being kept under tight ramps, but I'm certainly not complaining as much as I might want to know more details on the most exciting elements of the series has been the most monumental surprises that the team has managed to keep on the wraps each season. John Favreau recently revealed that he's already hard at work writing the scripts for the fourth season. So on the fourth season, damn. So we've got a lot more Mandalorian in store. That's wonderful. Speaking of more, Pedro Pascal recently said that he believes a Mandalorian movie is just a matter of time. Don't you think it's inevitable? I personally, I have no, truly, I have no idea, but that would be a dream come true. Not that any more dreams could possibly come true. Excuse me, Labs. Maybe I had my feel. I love going to the movies, going back, and just being able to uh, being able to be with an audience again is one of the most important things to me. If that happens with the Mandalorian, you know all I can say is please. The Mandalorian season three will debut on Disney Plus February of 2023. Larry, that's effing amazing. Yeah. Not only are we getting this news for season three, they said John Favreau yeah, is right on season four. four. Yeah, that's, that's dope. dope. Tell, man. You think That's you think great. you think they should make a movie too, or just leave it as TV shows? Um, man, that's a good question. I'm I'm okay with them making a movie. Like maybe, well, it depends on what the timing is. It really depends. I don't want them to hold up the seasons. Like I would like it would be dope if they came out with season three, dropped the movie in between season three and season four, but only if it doesn't hold up season four. I don't want them up there saying, oh, there's all kinds of delays because of production schedules. And now we're trying to figure out a right place to drop it for the release date. If it's going to be all that, then no. But if they but if they can work it out where they have like maybe like a huge, ridiculous, just audience pissing off cliffhanger and, and the end of season three that takes us into a movie in between that and season four, that would be awesome. Okay, I, I was about to ask you that too. Kind of like I was gonna say, where I would have got season three coming, but would you rather ha- after season three, would you rather have it go to a movie or a season four? But you only pick one, you kind of pick both. I ain't mad at you for that. <laughs> but if you, could, if, you could, if you could only pick one though, a movie or season four, what would it be? If I only get one, then I want the series because I mean, with TV, you get more screen time with them. I mean, sure, I'm gonna, sure. I mean, you'll get. 
with the movie, you'll get two hours, maybe two and a half. But with the TV series, you're going to get like, you know, anywhere between eight to 10 hours. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, did, did, now um, did you like Boba Fett? I did. It was cool. Yeah. It was yeah. cool. I mean, it wasn't as good as Mandalorian, but it was still cool, right? Right. I know right. Elliot says it was trash. Is tomato, it? tomato, tomato. <laughs> tomato, tomato. He's like it's trash, B. I'm like, nah, man, it ain't as good as a Mandalorian. Now, what about uh, what about uh, Obi Wan? How you feel? Uh, Obi Wan, I'm loving Obi Wan so far. You are? Man. Okay, good, I am. Good. I love Obi Wan so far. It's nice. great. Even the last episode, because a lot of people was disappointed with uh, episode four of uh, Obi Wan. Um, when did when did am I? Let me double check and make sure I'm caught up because I think I saw <laughs> episode yeah. four, but let me. Like I, I see it on my, I don't see it on my list, so I'm gonna say I watched it, which must have meant I must have enjoyed it, because whatever was the last episode, I was like, the last episode I thought was dope, okay. but I'm, I'm, I am just straight up loving that series, so I'm completely biased at this point. I think unless the episode that comes out as complete trash, I'm gonna be like, I'm loving it. So, so do you like do do you like uh, Obi Wan more than Mandalorian? Yes. Oh snap. Yeah. Oh, 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 snap. Yes, oh my awesome. god. Oh my god. Hold on. I mean, I, how I, could I, you I, not? It's Star Wars. It's about the Jedi's, and we have a series about a Jedi. Hold on. You know? This guy here yeah. at the internet of fire. He said he liked Obi Wan more than the Mandalorian. I don't it's think I heard Star that one. Wars. It's about the Jedi. We have the Jedi's. We get Darth Vader in there. I mean, how could you not love it more? I mean, oh, uh, I'm not trying to say. I'm not doing me wrong out there. I'm not <laughs> trying to say that that the Mandalorian is not is not on point. But if I have to pick between the two. I'm rolling with Obi Wan. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. I, I, I'm so uh, happy. Girl, New York City says not loving Obi Wan. <sighs> However, there was somebody else. Big Auntie says she is loving Obi Wan. So see, there you go. Big Auntie yeah. Energy Show is right. just got to go. Now I'll tell you, the New York chick out there, Happy Girl New York. If you're not loving Obi Wan right now, just go back. <laughs> Just go back and watch the old Star Wars movies. Just just go watch them and fall in love with Obi Wan. Just go there, watch the watch the original three, and then after that, watch the next ones and fall in love with Obi Wan, and then go watch Obi Wan. Then you'll be like, "Oh my God, how did I not see this?" That's probably what it is. You just haven't watched the old ones enough. See, I watch the old ones periodically. Sometimes when I'm editing or whatever like when i was in grad school i would just put on star wars because i've seen them 1500 times i don't really need to pay attention to them i can just watch them have them in the background playing and know what's happening so when you when you watched them enough and you and you and you get the feels for obi-wan when the series came out you're like this is my man's in them okay and you're ready for it yeah well y'all y'all heard it here larry wants obi-wan more than uh mandalorian hey it's all subjective. Um, but, you know, since you mentioned Carl Weathers, I do have something that I wish we could get. I sorry. wish we can get Action Jackson, too. That would be dope. It would be dope. It that would be dope. dope. Especially if we had something where maybe, like, maybe, like, Vanity's character got murked or something. And so now he's back trying to find the killers. And he's maybe, like, looking for him with his son or his daughter. And then he can pass the mantle at the end of that. That would be dope. But just it. don't mess it up like they did, Shaft. Don't don't find some like some soft moist dude to do it. Find a real <laughs> find a real G to do it. Already, man. Well, guys, there yeah. you go. Mandalorian season three is coming February 2023. It's going down. We're gonna get more Mando, more Katie, more Carl, more all that. More, more everybody. Grogu, it is going down. And again, if you're watching <laughs> via live on the replay, there's a Grogu, link to the article. In this description box for you to read at your own leisure. Grogu, everybody talks about how how cute he is. That 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 little monster was up there just straight committing genocide. What you talking about? Grogu, he was up there with that with, with that little with that little pot they had with those polywog looking things. It was the last ones of their of their uh, of their species, and he's up there just eating them. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. You're so it's like there's there's no more left after this. You can't just eat them, and he's just eating them, committing genocide. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>